Hi, everyone. My name is Martin Leinweber, and I lead the digital asset research and strategy at Market Vector Indexes. With the recent market correction, uh, many investors are understandably worried about what lies ahead. And in times like these, understanding recurring market patterns can be invaluable. And I'd like to show you our CryptoCycle dashboard, which is a powerful tool to help make sense of the market's movements by analyzing these cycles. Today, I'll walk you through how these dashboards work and why it's so useful in navigating the crypto landscape. But I think before we begin, a few words to the cycles. So crypto markets, as you know it, are inherently cyclical. And uh, these cycles often revolve around key events like Bitcoin halvings, um, macroeconomic shifts, and also the US election timelines. And recognizing these patterns can, can provide uh, investors with context about where we are in the market cycle and what might come next. So our crypto cycle dashboard focuses particularly on the post-election year dynamics. Next year we have one. And that's usually a historically significant period for crypto. And now let's have a look at our dashboard. So what you see here is um, Bitcoin and the corresponding return and investment multipliers, right? How, how many X are you up? Um, and we always start at the 1st of November till the end of the following year. And you see here the different post-election cycles. Yes, yeah, so, um, 2012, 2016, 2020, and we have the current cycle, 2024. Uh, you also see a simulation. Yeah, that's our simulated path for um, this year and next year. And we, what we do here is we calculate the mean return of all cycles. We left out the 2012 cycle because we think that uh, Bitcoin was too small and, and not a macro asset. But what you also see is the relative return difference from cycle to cycle. Yeah, you have um, the law of diminishing returns. So we scale down our mean returns we calculate it um, with a decay factor, which is it's similar from, from this cycle to that one. Yeah, so um, last cycle had reached 3.45x against uh, the um, 1st of November 2020. And now we project by the end of uh, 2025 that Bitcoin could do uh, 2.3x, which when we compare that um, with the beginning of November, could mean that we could see Bitcoin at around 150 to 160k by the end of next year with an overshoot to around 220k, which is, I think, reasonable when you consider third-party research and what, what the market expects. Regarding the current path, you see we are right on the 2020 track, yeah, which was a left translated cycle. And the other cycles were more um, yeah, right translated towards the, the second half of the year. And uh, so you can say, it's better than our projected path because we have Trump opium and uh, we have uh, maybe also the hope for a strategic Bitcoin reserve. Who knows? But a lot of people are now worried about the, the first drawdowns here. And we also did a projected path for the drawdowns. Now, what you can see is that it's completely normal to have around 10% 10, 10 drawdown at the beginning. And that's where we are now. Um, so everything is, is still in line, a little bit later than what we, we think should have been. 
but you also see a seasonality. So normally around the inauguration dates, you should have a larger drawdown. Um, also around March, April, which makes sense, which is the US tax season. And then very often you have a drawdown, a huge drawdown in during the summer months. Yeah, you had that, people remember, you had that in 2020. Uh, 2016 was surprisingly better, but also in 2012, we had a huge drawdown there in the summer months. And uh, so you see the, the seasonal uh, component here, um, which is very, very interesting to monitor. Now, if we do that for Ethereum, you see that Ethereum is also on right on path for the 2020 cycle, um, much better than our projection here. And um, people are, I think, interested in the drawdowns now that we have this correction. And what you see is that, um, again, nothing extraordinary, a 20% drawdown has to be expected in Ethereum. And again, you have this volatility in January, March, and for Ethereum a little bit later than for, for, for Bitcoin, but also these um, huge drawdowns in June, July. What is also uh, a highlight here, um, let's have a look at altcoins. Yeah, so we have a lot of indexes, Yeah, all these uh, analysis is, is based on an index. So this is considering our digital asset small cap index, which is the bottom half, the bottom 50 of our top 100 index. And what you can see is that we did much better since the 1st of November. Yeah, so the blue line is way higher than the 2020 cycle and way higher than what we've projected so far. Um, which is maybe also an indication for this for this whole Trump phenomenon and this new animal spirits, right? So the altcoin cycle usually starts the brutal cycle in January uh, until May, June. And so um, I think as when you look at the drawdowns, um, it's also eye-catching that um, we are currently have a higher drawdown than what we used to have. So 20% is normal. Um, this drawdown is a little bit higher. And if you have in mind the, the ROI multiples I shown you, um, we were much higher in this new cycle so from that perspective, uh, it's maybe also then normal to have a larger drawdown to come back more to our projections. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much here, uh, but definitely um, a strong market correction now in these smaller altcoins, right? And it's also typical for the last phase in the bull market. Um, that you have an increase in volatility. But I would like to highlight here um, that I would use these um, cycles uh, not as a crystal ball. It's more an invaluable tool for risk management. So identifying potential drawdowns and preparing for market volatility so that you don't do stupid things. And it provides also contextual insights and yeah, understanding how current market conditions compare to historical cycles. And then you can also uh, adjust your investment strategy accordingly yeah, with the recurring seasonal and cyclical trends. Um, yeah, so I hope you found that interesting. Um, thank you for watching.
If you'd like to learn more or have suggestions for additional indexes we should analyze, then feel free to reach out. And uh, don't forget uh, to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. And uh, if you want to have more insights and tools, visit our website at marketvector.com. Uh, stay tuned for what's next in the crypto markets. And one thing is certain, exciting times lie ahead. So thank you very much.